Well, here we are, like I promised, making a sheath for this knife. It is done, and this is in the future. So, you'll see in the video, I'm not a leather worker. I'm not a leather worker at all. This is the first time leather carving for me. Um, I used to just punch stuff in with nice decorative stamps. Um, there's many things I did backwards, things that I'll change on the next one, which is pretty exciting because I can't wait for the next one. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will um, see you on the next video, which is probably the forge build. So, see ya. Alrighty, welcome back. Sheath video. So, what I usually do is, before I start with anything, is just grab myself a piece of paper, trace out the knife, and then from there on out, you build on your sheath, which is either a fold over, like that, or you do two separate pieces that you sandwich against each other and then that's way more stitching though, way more hand stitching. I'm gonna do a fold over for a right hand draw and it's better to first do it in, or it's better to first do it on paper so that if you do have any mistakes you can correct it instead of cutting it out on the leather and realizing something's wrong. This is the flap that's gonna go around for the belt loop, but I'm gonna extend it just a little bit more. Careful. Okay, wait, let me cut that off. Boom. Okay, so here comes my favorite part. Uh, the design, so we can do some carving at some point. Where is my pencil? So I was thinking maybe a, a Celtic dragon or a Viking type dragon, but like a sea serpent type deal. Why, I don't know, but I'm gonna try something along those lines. Soften this up with some water, and um, I'm pretty sure that I am skipping a bunch of steps. But I really just want to do this, I just want to carve. So, I don't have those fancy papers, the plastic ones where you can actually trace. So, the paper's gonna get wet and it's gonna get destroyed after I'm done. So, oh well, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so here's my first issue. It's off to the side too much. So I'll have to shorten some of these loops up. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, let's start carving.
So all I'm doing now is using this little beveler. I don't know if you can see it. A little beveler. And I'm going on the outside of this line all the way around. Okay, now on to the texturing, just this little, there it is. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, check this out. Boom. Does that not look amazing? Okay, next step is to paint this water dragon snake thing. And um, for all you leather workers out there, I'm extremely sorry for what I'm about to do next. Um, some will call it blasphemy probably. But the overall color of this has to be black and white. I do have black dye, I don't have any white. But, I do have this stuff. So, um, I don't know if it'll work. Let's try. <coughs> oh, what have I done? Okay, let's do the edges. I'll have to dye these again. To all you veteran leather workers out there, I promise this will come out looking not bad when I'm done. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything backwards right now. But everything will work out fine, I think. Well, it kind of resisted. But, oh well, not too bad. I think next up is stitching that. And then, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roughen this up to get ready to stick this there. And uh, get it ready for stitching. Now, 15 minutes later, and I'm just gonna tack this on here real quick. Get this ready for stitching. Then I go over to this little V gouge and I'm gonna gouge this out where the stitching is gonna go. I won't, I'm not gonna use these to punch through. I just use my drill press, but I mark with these. Then I grab my awl and I open up these holes so I can see them nicely and then take them over to the drill press and uh, drill the holes through. And this is a 1 16th inch drill bit. Perfect size. Now this is the other side of it. I do like to um, cut a groove in because I want the stitching to be recessed. When you put the knife in, less chance for it to cut the stitching. So I think this is like a type of a, a synthetic wax thread. I'm gonna use white for the stitching. And uh, I'm gonna take double the length 
that I need to go around here and just a little bit more. So I read um, normal acrylic paint um, does stick to uh, leather. So let me destroy this uh, work that I've been so busy with. So, um, as you can tell, I did really well at school with painting. So what I'm hoping is, like everyone else on videos do, they just wipe and then it looks awesome. Oh lord. Six hours later. This is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> Look better. So if all else fails, just uh, die it again, I guess. Uh, I really hope this works. And then die it and then wipe it and then... <sighs> I hope it looks better. Please look better. <sighs> Back to normal. Okay, now, if I wipe this away, it should hopefully, probably not, leave it with a pretty cool looking texture thingy, art words and things. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, that looks not bad at all. Glue the welt and then start marking holes and stitching and all kinds of cool stuff. So now, now that the welt's been glued in, I went and I re-drilled all these holes right around. So what I do is, um, what is that little tool? Give me a second here. Guess it depends on which mood I am in, but I usually use one of these two to um, run into the groove and the indentation that it makes right at the very bottom. That's where I drill my holes on each and every one of these points. So I did that right around and so that they line up when I do tack them or put the glue on and tack them together I will put a needle through there and the very top hole sorry very top hole there put that through and then line them all up like that there it has been tacked together and uh, all the holes line up so next stop or Next up is the uh, hand stitching. I take one strand and I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, five passes. Then I grab the other one and back and forth until we end up like this. So what I do here is I take the back strand, wrap it around the other one once, twice. This needle here, remember, is still the back one. Then, after I've wrapped it, I go through. Take some pliers, pull it tight. Remember, it's like a knot now. Ta da! Which ones to use though? That's. Um. Hmm. 